Buenas noches, cocina. Buenas noches. Three months in the making, we finally made it to Pujol. I'm so excited. Chef Enrique Alvera moved to New York at 17 years old and trained at the Culinary Institute of America. He moved back to Mexico to start his flagship restaurant, Pujol, in 2000, the name a pun on his childhood nickname, Pozole. Since then, Olvera has established an international culinary empire, including Michelin-ranked Cosme in New York and multiple restaurants throughout Mexico. Pujol now sits at number five on the world's 50 best ranking in 2022, making it the number one ranked restaurant in North America. A staggering achievement, considering the number of Michelin-starred restaurants in the U.S. alone. Chef Jesus Duron has recently taken over the reins in 2022 at Pujol, which currently offers two tasty menus. The first, a playful taco amakase, offered to only 12 guests per seating at the bar, and the main seven-course tasting, which we experienced during our recent trip to Mexico City. Closed kitchen, interesting. We're going to have to get in here later. We're gonna start with the snacks in front of you. We have a salad in pistada with watermelon radish. In the center, we have our roasted baby corn with coffee, medium, some chicken cane, and a tocino pepper. I've never in my life tasted this flavor before. It's like rich and deep and a little meaty. It's incredibly unique. You have to try it to know what it tastes like. It's delicious. It's just really fresh. Crispy tortilla. I mean, nothing spectacular about it, but it's a beautiful fresh tortilla. It's really nice. For the third course, we have the Aberjack ceviche. Underneath, you have a parsnip puree with tomatoes and cucumbers. A lettuce leaf with rice, vinaigrette, and sesame seeds. It's a nice combination. So obviously really fresh and crunchy and the amberjack is just beautiful with cilantro and cream. It's really nice. A beautiful creamy texture. The sauce is light and delicious. There's a bunch of garlic in this leaf. It's yummy and it's crunchy. It's really yummy. It's really good. In our second course we have the artichoke tamal. On top has an artichoke puree with cumin, fried cake, and we'll finish the plate with a roasted tomato puree with lemon. I'm excited about this. Yeah. It's a little one dimensional. It's yummy. It's beautiful. But I was expecting a little bit more from this fish. For our third course, we have the cacho bebe. It's a rough fish from Ensenada. This one we're gonna cook at the grill. Underneath, you have the guatape sauce, which is based on banana pepper, zucchini, and capers. Next to it, we have zucchini some uh, basil leaf, mussel, and cacahuat simple. The cacahuat simple is a type of corn. The first dish was like multi-dimensional flavor. It's really good. Beautiful dish. The thing about this sauce, and I think that that is unique, is the wherever they source the ingredients, every single vegetable we've had has been so fresh. The main course is a sweet chard grub. It's a stuff with rice and bulgur. Introduction is made with onion, garlic, pasta to mostly ashes, and cumin. Next to it, there is an avocado criollo with chickpea puree on top, corn slain. Very subtle. It's cumin heavy. The sauce that they added at the end is very cumin heavy. It's not as rich and deep in flavor as I would want. It's very light, subtle, vegetarian, rice based taco. Well, this is our last savory course. You're going to try two different types of moles. This mole it has more than 20 ingredients, like a a dry chili, some fruits like a banana, an apple, all the tree nuts, all the spices, and chocolate. So in the middle is the new mole that is made every day. Outside is the more famous is the mole madre. Today that mole has a 2,823 days because it's a leftover mole. The tortilla, 
on the Pasoka Santa, this leaf has a flavor like a licorice and is very fresh. So far, I just had the young daily mole. Already, intensity and flavors is like crazy. There's so much going on. You can definitely taste the difference. One just tastes older and richer and deeper and like more intense, and there's like 10 times more depth. Very interesting, it's very unique, it's yummy. Unlike anything I've ever tasted in my life, obviously, I think this whole restaurant revolves around this dish. I would come here just to taste it. For sure. Some people may not like it, some people might like it, but I love it. Like five layers. Strawberry, cake, cream, matcha, elderflower. It's really good. Yeah. Our traditional churro. Okay, this comes with candy sugar. Here on this side, we have uh, an ice cream, a rum ice cream with apple, cinnamon, puree. Really light and fluffy. It's interesting. I expected it to be a lot, a lot denser. It's not at all. It's very light. And mm. it's delicious. Fried dough. Yeah, it's fried I dough. Can't go wrong. <laughs> I can't go wrong with fried dough.